presented by Church Tech U, it's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to show multiple languages on a single slide. And it's kind of unsupported. Welcome again, my friends and fellow Eternity Changers, to the ProPresenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about ProPresenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. And before we get started, make sure to subscribe and click on the little bell icon so that you can be among the first to learn the new tips and tricks I share. If you go to the Renewed Vision page that shows Master Control Module, you'll see that they envision that you'd use that module for multi-language support. With a little creative thinking, though, you can figure out a couple of other ways to do it as well. So let's head over to my computer and take a look. This is one that I get quite a lot, actually, and that is how you display multiple languages in ProPresenter. So I've gone ahead and I started with John 11.35 because it's the shortest verse in the Bible. And what I did was... Well, let me show you. Right-click on this, edit slide, and you'll notice that I have one, two, three, four text boxes. And down to the side, they are labeled Bible text, Bible reference, Spanish text, Spanish reference. And those last two I just renamed when you add a text box, um, it just calls it text element, and that's really not all that helpful. So uh, you can click on one, and then I believe it's this tab. Might be the, yeah, it was this one. Type in here, and you can relabel that as you want, so call it whatever you want. The name doesn't matter, it's just something for your information. So that's there. So I have four text boxes. If I was doing lyrics, I'd probably only have two, but since I want to have a slightly different format for each of these text boxes, you know, I'm applying a different template to each of these. I've got four separate uh, text boxes. But what is not immediately apparent is this is also four separate text boxes. In fact, it's a perfect copy of this. It's just a different template is applied. And so if we um, go back here, you'll see that I have the four text boxes. And if I click on Spanish text, and Spanish reference, what I did was I just moved them off to the side, but I left the little handles so that it would be easier to grab if I ever wanted to re, um, reformat that particular slide. So also uh, you should know that these are always in the same order. Bible text, Bible reference, Spanish text, Spanish reference. That matters for a couple of reasons, and I'll show that to you in just a second. So, right now we've got all uh, four text boxes, both languages. Here we're only showing one language. Here we're showing the second. Um, and those can be formatted however makes sense to you. And you might think, well, why would I do this? Uh, first thing is if you had a multilingual church service and also primarily English and also primarily Spanish, that way you could have the same slide and you would just apply a different template depending on what you wanted and it would show up there. So I basically created a few different templates. So if I right click on this and go into template, then I created a template group called bilingual. And the, this one has both. This one has just English. This one has just Spanish. So it's 
really pretty straightforward. I was experimenting down here and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. Didn't think it would, but anyway, I'll show you more about that in a second. So I can just apply the appropriate template to that. Now another trick, despite the fact that Renewed Vision suggests that you might use the Master Control module for this, you can also use the Multi-Screen module. So let's go into Preferences here and let's enable the Multi-Screen module, because right now it's disabled. I'm going to go to Dual, and uh, when I do that, um, Let's see here, which setting did I want to do? I think it was this one. And let's um, let's put the English only template on the left. And on this right one, let's put the Spanish only template. Okay, so, once we do that, clicking on the same slide, despite it showing up in the preview, because that's the default template it's showing, as both, I have English only on one and Spanish only on the other. Same here. In the preview, I'm just showing the English only, but it in multi-screen module, English only on the left, Spanish only on the right. And finally, if I wanted to just show the Spanish for the operator, English only on the left, Spanish only on the right. So I have each template as the default template on the slide, and then multi-screen module is choosing another template for each side of this. So that's another way to do it. Let me show you the stage display though because that creates a little bit of a problem. If you want, notice how I said that the English, English text, Spanish, Spanish text, text boxes were always in that order. In these first three, they are. So that's not an issue. But in this one, I rearranged them. So you'll notice that now the Spanish is on top and the English is on the bottom. So that's problem number one when you rearrange them. You want to keep them in the same order. Um, problem number two is sometimes the formatting gets a little wonky. So keep an eye on that. But you might be wondering, what if I only wanted English or I only wanted Spanish? So we'll go back to the default here. How could you do that? Well, there's not a very good way to do it, unfortunately. But you could copy and paste this into the notes section and just show the notes. And that's what I've done down here. And so this is a notes only layout and it's only showing the notes. It's not showing the text on the screen. So if I right click, edit slide again, we can see that here in the stage display notes section, I just pasted that there. It's extra work, but it's something to consider. One downside of doing all this is that the reflow editor just does not work right. It only works for one text box. So if we go into um, View Reflow Editor, Control R also takes you there. You'll see that um, it only shows me the first text box in all these slides. So um, this slide down here. This slide down here is only showing me the Spanish, but in fact it's showing me, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it's, it's only showing me in Reflow Editor the English. 
So Reflow Editor isn't made for this whatsoever. So hopefully in ProPresenter 7 they'll deal with some of this. This is kind of a hacky way to do it, I admit. But if you need it, that's how you could do it. Or you could do the Master Control Module and have each machine have a different language and that would work perfectly fine as well. So that's how you deal with multiple languages in ProPresenter 6. So whether you use the Master Control Module, Multi-Screen Module, or some creative formatting, I hope you'll learn some ways to display multiple languages at once. If you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. But if you really want to level up your ProPresenter knowledge, don't forget that you can enroll in any of my ProPresenter mini courses for free. Just go to tdm.fyi slash tutorials mini. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity. Hi.